Are you ready? The Cornelia Stephanie Show. Wake up to love your call to action. Join Cornelia as she empowers others to live heaven on earth. Cornelia teaches listeners how to be the authority over yourself, embracing your inner guru. Feel yourself uplifted into limitless expansion, integrating ease and grace in a changing world. This show will cover topics such as unconditional love, your physical body, how to be in extraordinary relationships, create financial and emotional wealth, embracing entrepreneurship in the new earth. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Cornelia Stephanie Show, Living Heaven on Earth. And oh my goodness, am, am I so excited to uh, introduce you to my guest today. Uh, her and I met in Hawaii of this year, and she is definitely an evolved being of higher consciousness. And this show, I'm always bringing you inspiring guests that are part of, part of this evolutionary um, train of raising our consciousness and raising our frequency and uh, embodying that, that, that energy. So uh, my, my guest today, Darlene Turner, uh, welcome her to the show. Welcome, Darlene. Thank you, Cornelia. I am so excited to be here with you and I am so grateful to be part of your show and honored that you invited me as a guest. Oh my gosh, you know, I, I wanna read your bio to, um, to the audience and then we can talk about it a little bit. Because, um, well, first of all, you know, when I met you in Hawaii, you and your lovely husband, Michael uh, Turner, and I also was just thinking before we got on the show that I want to invite Michael to the show at some point, too, simply because he is, um, he's an amazing uh, gifted artist as well. And what I do on the radio and, and uh, YouTube, he also does for the um, light workers, the light, the path pavers of uh, the Ascension uh, on this Ascension timeline. And so he helps people step into their passion and then he records them on video and does video for them. So I'm going to have Michael on the show at some point, too. But when I met the two of you, um, you, the two of you, you just stood out. You know, we were we were at a dinner and it was Michael's birthday and we had a wonderful conversation about um, healing and um, about, you know, again, raising our consciousness and what it is that we're doing to shift um, to shift our frequency here in the world. And so I instantaneously felt a deep, deep resonance with you. And I wanted to um, bring you on my show. I knew immediately that I wanted to bring you on my show. And later on, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share some of the reasons why, because I even um, uh, hired you as a healer to support me in, in something that I needed to move beyond. And um, so I have firsthand experience. But right now, I just want to I want to read your bio because it really is incredible, and I know that a lot of people struggle with with some of these things, especially being raised in a religious background like you were. So I I want to let people know that you were raised as a Jehovah's Witness on a farm in Sas Saskatchewan. How do you say that? Sas Saskatchewan. Oh, Saskatchewan. Okay. Yeah. And at a young age, you had to choose between your family and religion or uh, what truth your heart was, was telling, telling you. And so uh, life led Darlene to, through many rough roads until she decided that enough was enough. And she started to go deep and find out who she really was and how to heal and grow from trauma and hardships to really love herself. And I know a lot of us can relate to that. And through this, through this healing journey, Darlene learned many healing modalities, such as body talk, Reiki, theta healing, and access bars. She is well known for her intuitive deep tissue massage and being able to relieve chronic pain through her gifts and intuition. Her passion for animals led her to completing her education as a registered equine, equine? Equine, a equine. horse therapist, yeah. Equine yeah. therapist. She enjoys using her tools and skills gained in that course on her animals and humans. 
connecting to the quantum field and electromagnetic field that surrounds everything, Darlene is able to make a real difference to any imbalances in the body, mind, and emotional bodies, relieving and bringing balance back to the body. Working with anyone around the world through Zoom or Skype or in person at her location where she is, she is now living. And if you're watching the show live today, you're going to see she's actually outside in the woods. Uh, she's in the middle of transition and she's just moved to another location, but she's joining us from outside, which is incredible. Darlene now focuses on finding and clearing issues from the origin, whether it's this lifetime, genetic, DNA or parallel lives and, and, and helps end those soul contracts. From this clean slate, she empowers and guides clients to shift their frequency into wholeness and create their DNA, becoming aware of their beliefs and patterns that run in the subconscious and start changing them one by one. Wow. So what a journey, darling. It has been. <laughs> And continues to be. <laughs> yes, exactly. And, and living in this higher consciousness and this higher frequency. And today we're going to talk about we're going to talk about some of this. But curiously enough, um, you know, you were raised a Jehovah's Witness. And so just give us a, um, you know, a little story to how you went from there to where you are right now. Okay, well, well um, like I was said, I was born into being a Jehovah's Witness, and my mom was a very strict, I don't know, call it Bible thumper, or, <laughs> you know, like very strict with your studies and the meetings, and so Jehovah's Witnesses is a very dedicated type religion. There's a lot of, you know, hours put in and a whole week to, to toward that religion. And um, she was definitely dedicated. So I had a very structured, strict type of um, growing up atmosphere. And um, I really did between about nine and about 14, I really give it a strong go as, you know, like I really put my heart into it and studied and, and just there was so many things that didn't resonate for me. And I, you know, questions that they said, well, we're just, you know, some things were not meant to be known and, and just were not able to an answer some of my deep questions. So it really made me question the whole structure around it. And I came to an age where at 16, I was like, you know what, I, I don't, I'm not, I'm sitting on the fence. I'm not devoted to this religion. And according to that religion, if you're sitting on the fence and not devoted, you are going to get terminated in Armageddon anyways so yeah, yeah. I said to my mom you know what's the sense and she really really did not understand anything that where I was coming from so I ended up uh, basically running away from home and um and lived with my brother for a little while and then I met my first husband and when we moved in together I was considered um disassociated almost like disfellowship so at 17 years old I was disowned by my family and we moved away from there and I called it I created my own little family because I had a daughter shortly after and it was five years that I was disowned and um, I was never baptized so later on they changed the rules and decided oh we can talk to you and and stuff so I was kind of like oh great here I am and here's your granddaughter and you know because I kind of really understood. I had studied the religion, so I knew that above all was their dedication to God. It didn't matter family-wise or what. It was just that's their their goal. So I um, we restored somewhat of the relationship after that, and they kind of accepted me for who I was. And yeah, so then just from there, it was a relationship between me and Source God whatever the label may be, was just not a love and not a hate. It was just, just wasn't there for me. It was just kind of like blank slate with it. I just was going through my life without any of that support or unsupport, <laughs> you know, just that neutrality. And um, yeah, and so throughout the relationships that I've had and, and through life, you know, I went down many roads of of either abuse, whether it was physical, whether it was drugs, alcohol, you know, and, and it came to a point where I was just done and I left. And then I um, was able to regain some of my, my inner strength back 
from that aspect, but then I went into the loop again and I married again. And the second husband was very similar to um, the situation of alcohol and abuse. And so I was back in the loop again. And, and, and then I, it came to a point again where I was like, this is it. You know, I love myself too much to be putting up with any of this. So that's when I left. And it really did become that soul journey and found who I was at that point and spent quite a few years just in meditation. I call it my Buddha up the mountain time. And really, you know, because when you are in that situation with somebody domineering, you don't really know who you are because you're catering to their needs because you don't want that anger on you. And, and so that's how I felt. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that, that's an incredible story. And a lot of us, can identify with, um, you know, the religious programming um, where we had to like um, walk away from from things that just don't resonate with us anymore in order to be true to our soul, because on on an evolutionary level it just didn't resonate with you any longer, and that's really hard when you know you have to walk away from family at times, especially when um, when uh, you know your mother is involved or parents are involved or whatever. So kudos to you for doing that and I just want to let our listeners know that you know if you're in that type of a situation that um, it's it's normal to uh, to honor yourself it's normal to actually walk away and feel torn where um, you know because it, it just doesn't resonate with people um, at going on onto the soul's journey onto this path it's just not it's just not part of that and then um, the journey that you had about, you know, with your with your husbands and continuously keep yourself as love and, and honoring who you are and where you were going. And uh, so that, again, took a lot of courage on your part. And that's how your uh, light work really began, didn't it? So well yes. done. For that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Well yeah. done. Um, so now today you're full blown full-blown light worker, right? You're full-blown yes. um, servant of the light. And uh, mm -hmm. you're here uh, shifting the consciousness on the planet with your presence and with your being. Um, and you are assisting many other people to do the same. In addition, you are fully um, into your healing gifts and doing the work that you really came here to do. You, you embody that. And that was one of the things that I really... Uh, loved about uh, meeting you is the level of confidence that you hold in your abilities. And, and so when, when, um, when I was looking for someone to work with, this is what really truly attracted me uh, to contacting you. So um, we are already just about ready to take a break. When we come back, we're going to uh, get Darlene's take on heaven on earth and how, how do, what is her take on that and how do we embody that and where do we go from here? So we're gonna take a break with uh, Darlene Turner and we'll be right back, thank you. Hi, my name is Janet Hickox and I wanna tell you a little story about a story and how my friend Cornelia Stephanie helped me through to the other end of that story. I have gone from the dark of a story I was telling myself that wasn't true to the light of optimism to see my way out of where I was and to where I wanna go. And it all started with uh, her scheduling a session for me to help me reclaim my money or my financial empowerment. Up until that point, I had been telling the story that my business was dying, that my business was not successful anymore. And the more I tried to figure out what was going on, the worse I felt about it. And when I had to get ready to do the session with Cornelia, she asked me to go look at the numbers and where I was uh, through the year to date. And then also to come prepared with a number that I wanted to uh, raise my income to. Well, I was quite comfortable with that part, right? I knew where I wanted to be. Uh, what I wasn't comfortable with doing is going and looking up those numbers. But I made myself do it, even though I tried to backpedal my way out of the session. Um, she didn't know that, but I was going to try to get myself out of the session. And I looked up those numbers. 
And it was incredible that I discovered through that process that my business wasn't dying. In fact, I was doing 12% better than I had the year before. So I was shocked. I was shocked literally at the power of the story that I had been telling for months. But more than that, I was shocked that I had allowed myself to get there. And uh, later in that day when I had my session with Cornelia, she pointed out some very obvious things like, how are you going to get where you want to go if you don't know where you want to go? How are you going to get there if you don't have the goals written out, if you don't have it uh, set up so that you know where you are and where you're going to go? Totally makes sense, right? If I, and I had been in business, uh, somebody else's business as a sales manager for years, and I, I was a national sales manager. <laughs> I had awards for sales management. I had business awards because of numbers. And yet when it came to doing my own business, I totally forgot all that I'd ever learned. So by the time Cornelia working with me in just one session got me to look deeper at the numbers and where did I want to go and actually, you know, claiming where I wanted to go. Um, I was filled with a sense of optimism and hope like you can't believe. It was like everything shifted for me. And I am so looking forward to our continued sessions to see how far I can really push myself to get where, I, where I've only dreamed of being, where I've never taken the dream and actually brought it into concrete existence. So thank you, Cornelia, for the work that you're doing out there. I appreciate it, and I can't wait to see where I go from here. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. We're on the Cornelia Stephanie show, and I'm speaking with my very special guest, Darlene Turner, and we're talking about heaven on earth and how to embody this higher level of consciousness. And Darlene is here sharing her work, sharing her gifts and practical tools on how do we do that. So thank you, Darlene, for being here. And please share with us about this higher level of consciousness taking ownership. Well, we, quite a few of us has been on this journey for quite a while and we kind of know what it's about. We know we create our own reality and what we think and what we believe leads to that creation of that reality. So how do we bring it into our everyday life has really been the, the question, right? And it's like, how do you get off that hamster wheel that so many, all society is catered to whether it's, you know, the, the cost of the big houses and the, the wheel of the jobs and, you know, and trying to make the bills and, you know, how do you get out of that or how do you even find some peace to really connect to your heart? So um, for me, it's been, it's been quite a journey of, um, I also have um, had quite a shift in my own life just by surprise within two weeks I'm in a full house and and circumstances beyond my control we're packed gave away everything and we're moved to Vancouver area <laughs> and it's really sitting in that unknown and it's like okay what tools do I have because this isn't feeling very comfortable and I know there's a lot of people out there that are going through a transition as well and um, so I just like to share some tools that I myself have been using. And part of it is really calming our nervous system down. It's, it's like getting out of that feeling of stress and anxiety and where am I going to go and what am I going to do, where our mind only has to go on is what we've previously experienced, so our past. And so our mind is scrambling to something to grab onto and hold onto to, to help <laughs> ground in something so I you know feel secure right and it's really not about that because our lives are shifting and changing and we're evolving so this new life that is coming down here for us now it's um, something that we haven't experienced before so it's it's nothing tangible that we can actually grab onto so it is really sitting in that unknown and, and being comfortable with it so it's calming that nervous system down taking that time to be quiet and, and listen to your heart and really listen for that next step and that next direction as to where that next step is for you to take. And the other part is, is really dropping into the trust. We really um, have to ha own and trust that what we are creating and we trust in the universe to bring it to us. So we create it 
No, we design it, but the universe creates it. So um, one of the tools I have been using is uh, a meditation where I go into the space of being no thing, no body, no mind. And within that space, our nervous system can calm down. And then from there, I, I uh, release any emotions that aren't serving me. So worry, fear, survival, any of those, I release them. And then from that space, I recreate how I want to feel. So the feeling that you're bringing back is what creates the new um, frequency for your body to vibrate or flow with. And that's what attracts this new life and new evolved existence and reality for us. So it's really bringing in that new feeling of whatever it is that a person wants, whether it's just the peace, the trust, the love, the abundance, whatever it is, and really feel, sitting in that and feeling it has been one of my most valuable tools that I've been using every day. Yeah. And you know, what's so beautiful about what you're talking about is that because uh, where we are today in our evolution, it happens fast. That's the beautiful mm -hmm. thing. You can shift your now now, uh, it, you don't have to carry that luggage and that baggage around uh, for, you know, days and days and days and months and, and years or it, it literally you can shift your frequency, you can shift your vibration, you can shift your reality. Now, that's what's so beautiful about where we are in our level of consciousness today is to be able to do that. And that's part of your work. It's part of my work. Of teaching others how to do that and that's how we raise the vibration by releasing the lower density the fear where am I gonna be where am I gonna live what am I gonna do that fear of wanting because it's just the ego right that wants to feel secure that it's gonna be okay and I like what you said about the mind um, wants to hold on to something that's only from the past and so, um, and again, it's the, the, the only real security that, that we can have, right, is in the present moment. And the present moment where you, when you say you move into no space, no mind, uh, no, no, no being, and you, no thought, and you just move there and you move into that space. And from that space, you create your new reality. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, it's powerful. And, and miracles and magic only happen in this now moment. So that's what is so important about being now, because if we're not, then all we're doing is projecting our old patterns and our old beliefs. And that's what we're going to attract and, and it's going to come into our lives. So it's most important to be in this now space. And now, did I hear you say that you are in Vancouver? I am. Yeah, Langley area. And you know yes. how happy that makes me? <laughs> Because you're closer to me now, because you're a lot closer to me now. So now we're really going to get together. So it's Absolutely. That's what I was saying to Michael. It's like, yay, we're only a couple hours from Cornelia, so we'll get to visit. Yeah, absolutely. Who knows? This is just so great. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah. What, and, and it's a tough journey, you know, but uh, here you are. You've, you've, you've moved from this old programming into this new um uh, vibration and now you help many other people uh, do the same thing and it, and so is that what you have found your heaven on earth is all about yeah it's it's really has shifted a lot um, I used to be more on this healing journey like everybody's broken <laughs> and it's like you know and I started realizing the more we focus on everything that needs to be fixed the more things need to be fixed mm -hmm. and so once I switched that perspective and started looking at okay what do I want to bring in how positive can I make my life and re being aware of these patterns and these beliefs that are playing in the background to to um, be able to shift those like you say in the in the now moment it doesn't take much to just shift those those beliefs into a new thought and a new way of being and it's and that's how we are able to change our reality is to be aware of all these old programs that our parents told us the religion told us the society has told us and it's amazing when you actually unplug from all of that and own the power it's just like oh my god there's i can do anything right you know like i was in Kauai, it was just like I was told at five years old that I have to wear glasses my whole life. I have astigmatism that is only going to get worse and never get better. And I sat there and was like, I am so changing this. 
Yeah. Uh oh. Are something. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, good. Because we couldn't hear you for a second, but okay. So each day I, I recreate my vision and I go longer periods of time without my glasses to strengthen my eyes. And it's like, this is an old program at five years old that I was told. So it's just little things like that, that we can own and know we can change it. When you're talking about just little things like that, I mean, you know, here's the thing, this kind of thing is people, this is the kind of stuff that we need to talk about all the time these kinds of little things. And the reason why is because people need archetypes, they need permission slips, they need templates of what it is that we can actually do. What it is that we can actually do when we own our energy. Like what you just said, this is what I do. So my preference or my recommendation to you is tell people more and more and more about what it is that you're doing every day to shift your reality and letting them know what it is that they can do. Because again, people don't think in those terms. They, it doesn't even come into their consciousness and have those ideas that, okay, I'm going to take my glasses off and now I'm going to improve my vision because I can, because the body has the ability to self-regenerate and, and um, move into its right full place and not move into, not live in disease, because really when we're really embodying heaven on earth, there is no dis-ease in heaven. Exactly. There is no dis-ease. And, you know, again, you know, um, uh, it's just the lower vibration of consciousness that we've held in our programming, in our mental body, in our emotional body, in our spiritual body, in our physical body. We held that level of density. And um, nowadays, um, that's, that's the consciousness that exists, living heaven on earth, is that we don't have to die a physical death in order to experience heaven on earth. We have to let the old part of the human self, the one that was in the hamster wheel and running around and tied to the old program, to the old matrix, that's the one that we have to let die away so that we can really uh, embody and live heaven on earth here for the first time ever in the history of this planet, ever. We're looking at, I don't know how many thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of years have we evolved. And here we are, we're living heaven on earth and we're bringing peace to earth by, not by focusing on the drama, not by focusing on what we can't do, not by focusing on all like the, the, what needs to be fixed and what needs to be healed, but by actually using our power, using our energy. Uh, to change our reality because we can. Exactly. Yeah. Own it. <laughs> yeah, doesn't that feel absolutely magnificent? Yes. It's exciting. Yes. Yeah. yeah that, Empowering. Yeah. It's just so wonderful when, and I mean, this has been one of my dreams for a long time is that I want to be able to sit at the masters at, at the table with the masters, with a group of people, that are absolutely aware of their level of consciousness, that are absolutely aware of their gifts and that they are here now to do exactly what it is that you're doing. And that is to um, change their reality, uh, that, that accept full responsibility for their power and take ownership. And uh, we have a whole new world to create. We have a whole new world to create. We've got lots to do because we know yeah. what it is that we don't want, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what I love is that when our heart is coherent, other people's hearts sync with our hearts. So even though we may be just me and you and, you know, one uh, percentage of the population, we can affect the whole earth. Like it's it's been amazing. Some of the prayer meditations uh, of joy and health and wealth in certain areas they've done studies and it's improved their crime rates it's improved their economics it's improved like so much just a group of 2,000 people meditating I think it was Washington actually uh, what I was reading and it improved their whole the whole state so that's how powerful we are
Yeah, and I mean, just think about how big and huge our energy fields are. And if we if we um, have that frequency, and if we emit that frequency out, then of course other people can feel that resonance within you, and people are drawn to you. Um, uh, and 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 more and more people are doing this, and that's how we're changing the world. That's how we're making the world a better place. That's how we're building our new Earth, one heart, one soul at a time. That's ready to take on the mantle and and take that job. So we're going to we're going to take another quick break where we're, you're listening to the Cornelia Stephanie show and I'm with Darlene Turner and we'll be right back. Hello, my name is Charlene Hess and I want to share with you my wonderful experience of choosing to use Cornelia Stephanie as my life coach. My life is so different now from where it was when I began working with her in 2011. At that time, I was in a dysfunctional marriage. I had my own business. I was raising two children and completely dead inside. After working with Cornelia, I began to gain confidence. I began to learn and understand how to use my emotions in my life. I learned how to process the emotions that were stored in my body, the ones that I thought that I had already worked through in my 12 years of counseling prior to working with her. The process that she had taken me through of using my emotions to heal my life, to use my anger to find peace, was absolutely incredible. I have been working with her one-on-one uh, -on -one for many years now, and even though I am in a place now where I am thriving in my life, I still refer to Cornelia as my coach and I still work with her on an ongoing basis where we're always checking in and keeping me accountable in my growth. After working with her for many years, I decided to go through her wholeness certification coach, uh, coaching program, and it has absolutely been an amazing process. I now am a certified empowerment coach, and I got certified through her program, and I am taking clients and helping them to find the empowerment in their lives. One of the things that I love about Cornelia is that she taught me that I am the authority in my own life. And that was a really difficult experience to go through because it was really fighting against all of the dogma and programming that was so ingrained in my brain that all of the authority is outside of me. But as I began to understand and believe and adopt and know the truth that I am the authority in my life is when everything in my life started to shift and change. I became responsible for my decisions. I became responsible for creating a life that I love. And now I'm here in this amazing, beautiful place, living a life of so much happiness and joy. And no matter what life throws at me, I have the tools to be able to approach everything from a place of empowerment. And now I have the ability to help other people do the same. So working with Cornelia has absolutely been the best decision that I've ever made in my life. It has taken me from a life of absolute misery and given me the tools to be able to have a life of absolute complete joy. So I cannot recommend working with her enough. I hope that you decide to choose to have her as your coach. Go through her empowerment coaching program, go through her wholeness certification, and I guarantee you won't regret it. Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm with Darlene Turner and we are talking about our evolution and our consciousness, one of my favorite subjects. So Darlene, I wanna send everybody to your website. Where do they go? TLC, so as in tender, loving, care, healing, hands.com. This is my website, and it has all the things that I offer that I can do. Um, and yeah, check it out. Some explanations around things. I'm leaning a lot more into helping people shift beliefs and um, patterns and loops. Um, but using just a variety of tools, it, it's catered to each individual, you know, like one thing is not a all for everybody. So that's, you know, I, I like that aspect and everything is usually done through intuition, but through muscle testing so that I'm honoring, I'm not just deciding what this person needs. It's, it's their, their innate telling me what would be the best route or yeah. the best tool to use. And mm -hmm. so it's TL? TLC. TLC healing healing hands dot com. Okay. And then do you have an email address that people can reach you also? Yeah, it's it's similar. It's Darlene uh -huh. TLC Healing Hands at gmail.com. 
Wonderful. Because and I, I would invite uh, uh, anybody that would is interested in a meditation that uh, I am creating. It's um, to help, as I talked about, with shifting yeah. from um, the, what you would like to be released of old patterns and beliefs and emotion and in creating into the new. So if anybody was interested in that, please send me an email saying your name and you're interested in that meditation and I will send you a link to it. Good, because I definitely want to, I'm interested in it. I want to do it. And then I want to, when you have the link or yeah, give me the link so that I can then promote it on the show too throughout at other times. I want to keep that going because I know okay. how powerful this work is and I know how powerful you are because, um, you know, I, I, I'm a healer myself. And so I, I did a lot of, I did a lot of healing on myself. You know, I canceled uh, my appointment with cancer and I, I did a, a lot of healing on my own body, on my own physical body. But recently there was a, a curiosity that I had on uh, some bone loss. And um, so I contracted, I, I hired you to really go make sure that there, there was no remnants left um, that I missed uh, on making sure that I, that I moved back into my rightful state. And um, so I had that healing session done with you. And what's so powerful is we, we went to the root core of all of it. And, um, and I'm glad that I did that because sometimes you just need that helping hand. And even though, you know, a lot of things that, that, I've, that I've done on my own, uh, I'm also very picky with the people that I choose. And, um, and then, um, but I hired Darlene and she did just such a magnificent job. We got to the root core of where, where um, some of that old consciousness was still uh, tied into negative limiting beliefs. We got that and then um, shifted the, the consciousness and shifted the, the new beliefs. And uh, I absolutely know um, after that session, it's, it's completely done. And then I also have the clients that I work with and people that I've worked with, I've picked some people that had different things that they needed a healer with, and I had them also contact you um, because I'm, I'm very picky for me and I'm also very picky for my clients. So uh, it means a lot, but I know that you get to the root and um, that's, that's really important. So uh, anybody that uh, is dealing with any issues, whether it's negative limiting beliefs or um, uh, you've got some some illness or whatever going on in your body and you, you want some help. Darlene's very affordable. Um, so I highly recommend that you contact her at her email address and uh, get it cleared out once and for all so that you can create and live your life healthy, wealthy, and in charge of your life. So before we went to the break, Darlene, we were talking about, do you ever give your power away? Yes, we were. <laughs> And you want me to share my story? Yes, I do. All right. Well, I was, as a child, I grew up terrified of bears. It was always my bear, um, bear nightmares that I had. And I lived in Saskatchewan, so there wasn't any bears where I was anyways. Then I moved to the mountains and there's bears <laughs> everywhere. So I, you know, I just limited my hiking and, and, you know, it just, it was limiting me period for fear of my bit the bears and so i the other day i was kind of like about a couple months ago i was like what am i doing i am more powerful than all this i'm like an animal communicator so i started sending my consciousness down the path connecting with the bear if there is one there i would feel the energy and say you know i'm just coming through in peace and mean no harm and so that the bear was aware that i was coming through and and I never ran into it. And we've walked right where there's mama cub signs caution. And we've, I've never had a problem or anything with the bears again with that. Um, and then I uh, just really trusted my intuition that I would know when it's time to turn around. And I felt really good in owning that power. And, and really now I, we hike all over the place and I'm, I'm not concerned at all because everything's consciousness and if we connect with it and we can do a lot and the other day I, I was walking and I found a bear claw and this uh, is pretty random to find just a bear claw out in the forest and um, so I, I was pretty excited about the bear message for me within that and I was told to leave it behind and not take it out of the forest so 
I honored that. And then I found a hawk feather. So it was a powerful day of animal communication and animal spirit messages for me that day. I almost feel like the reason why you were called to be where you are right now is what I'm getting is that um, you are um, developing these new codes and, um, you know, again, transcending some old fears like you did the fear with the bear. But at the same time, you're getting a new direction on, on what to do, trusting your intuition right away again, listening and, um, you know, uh, creating harmony with uh, the bear and the, the fear that the fear that you placed there yourself, um, you've now removed it, and you're, so you're creating harmony. And at the same time, you're telling this story so we can all hear it, and you're giving a template for other people going, oh, that's really, that's how easy it is for me to, to shift that reality now. So I think part of you being there, having this experience is really, um, you know, you know, giving you the opportunity to do this. So it's, it's like, as a multidimensional being, you know, we, uh, we're, there, we're doing so many things in so many different dimensions. And it's, it's, you know, all in this now moment, you know, we're letting go of old paradigms and we're uh, creating new ones simultaneously. And, and we're, you know, we're here and experiencing this. And then we've got something else going on and we're bringing our body into a physical vibration, a higher physical vibration at the same time. So there's so many things that are happening. Um, but I feel like you were, you were, um, being called to be there right now to have this, um, you you being an animal communicator anyway, because we want to yeah. talk a little bit about your horses. But um, yeah. yeah, I feel like I am that bridge um, between the animal and the humans, you know, holding that space for that communication so that people have that deeper understanding and that, you know, re removing that fear or, you know, trauma maybe from either side, right? You know, and just kind of bridging it into a love and respect and having compassion for all so yeah, yeah that's definitely and one of my that's guests. so beautiful and you know it's like because again you constantly have to trust your intuition and trust is the key word trust you you um the universe bringing you to where you are right now trusting in your intuition trusting in in in, in your healing abilities or in your creation abilities and trusting life trusting source trusting where you're going and 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 trusting every now moment embodying that energy that is really uh what it's about it is and you can't i for myself i can't doubt i can't have self-doubt because that makes everything crumble so i have to absolutely trust my direction and know that in every now moment it is perfect perfect and not second guess myself and not think well maybe i should or maybe this or whatever it's like this is the now moment and it's perfect do you have a do you have a process of what you do with doubt when doubt comes up do you have something that you do that you you're, you know you're noticing doubt and then what do you do well i usually a lot of times i'll do my meditation and just release that doubt and bring in how i want to feel sometimes it's a walk um, sometimes it's just a nap and I'm tired. I notice when I'm tired, my mind's a lot busier and I kind of slide back into worry and stuff like that. So a lot of times it's that, um, a lot of, you know, there's a little things we can do with, um, just putting labels on our drinking water that we're drinking out of our body and just putting, you know, peace, harmony, because every drop of that water is going into every cell in our whole body so what better way to affect our whole body than to program our water and drink it into all our cells right you know like there's so many things that we can do to to shift our vibration and frequency and yeah, yeah. that's absolutely perfect because our bodies are made of 75 78 percent water 80 percent water so um you are the new program of trust peace and love that you are want to be in the world and it's 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 done from the physical body where before the duality of it the opposite of it was stored in your body and that's part of the release process that's happening and now the new program that's walking around is love peace harmony honor respect unity uh uh passion you know, compassion, yeah. integrity, all these wonderful um, uh, virtues that make us feel uh, high and good and that's in mm -hmm. harmony with our truth. And so, and, oh, go ahead. 
I would just wanted to say one more thing is I, I do with uh, doubt or fear. And that's a lot of times that's our inner child or our insecure part of us. So it, it's just coming up to be loved. So it's little, like I consider it little pieces of ourselves. And um, a lot of people are like, oh, I just released that out. And it's not always about that. It, a lot of times it's it's bringing it in to be loved. And it's just little pieces so that we, we're gathering our energy back in so that we can be bigger and brighter with our energy field. Absolutely. I, I call that part recollecting yourself, Collect, recollecting, recollecting, recollecting all the places that were scattered and that you've left out there that are just sitting out there, recollecting and calling them back in. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. My name's Bob Skeel. I'm 91 years old and I want to take a few minutes now to share with you the important role, actually the critical role, Cornelia has played in my life. I say critical because I'm not sure I'd be alive at all to the many possibilities that make up our human experience at my age, if not for her. I could have easily become another dead man walking, only half conscious, stumbling through my remaining years, if it hadn't been for Cornelia. Six years ago, I lost my wife to Alzheimer's. We'd been married for 61 years. I never thought I'd be a widower, but there I was, suddenly lost and alone, but with the good sense to set a working goal for myself. I was going to spend the rest of my life committed to unconditional love, whatever that meant and wherever that took me. A year or so later, Cornea came along, helping me over several years to focus that unconditional love where it had never been focused before, on me. My whole life, my entire being had been focused on love of neighbor, and I had derived great satisfaction from that. But in the process, I had ignored the second part. I love your neighbor as yourself. Now it was time to direct that love inward. I didn't see that right away, but Cornelia did, and she drew me there. She drew me actually to God. Through many conversations over coffee and after numerous, sometimes tearful, agonizing discussions, Cornelia was able to lead me kicking and screaming to within where I needed to be. It was there finally that I was able to re-identify myself. It was in bringing unconditional love to myself that I now saw myself in a new light, a fully conscious worthy human being, capable of healing, loving, and creating in my own right, all these gifts of the evolutionary process. I'm a new man now, younger as I get older. I don't move as fast as I once did, of course, but my smile is quicker and I engage the heart and mind of others more readily. I would likely not be at such a wonderful stage in my life, if not for Kania. I owe my new life to her, a wonderful friend and a constant source of inspiration. Thank you, Kania. I'm so loving this conversation. I hope that you all are um, enjoying it as much as we are talking about it. So Darlene has got some incredible um, gifts to share with the people that 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 want want to get moved beyond their limiting uh beliefs and you were talking in the break about some of your session work do you want to um, share that now sure um well i would just love to be a part of um, anyone that i resonate with what i'm talking about um, to connect to me um, part of what i do is to just Give you that support throughout your journey so um, i offer three sessions for two hundred dollars um, but within that um that time period you're you're welcome i would love to you know if it's just a matter of 10 minutes or 15 minutes just to connect and reset or you know just chat about what you're going through because i feel like it's part of my journey to help other people's journey and I have had so much life experience and my own growth and studies and teachings that I have done that there's so many tools that and it's you know it can be quick and easy 10 minutes uh, I can do a lot in 10 minutes um, so 
what I would like to offer is um, helping people clear beliefs, like we talked about patterns. I can um, do so much uh, because it, it's like, um, I don't know, distance surgery. I had uh, somebody that had like a uh, concussion and I was able to uh, relieve the, te the pressure on her brain. I was able to um, reset the cortices and I did all of that in about 15 minutes and her headaches were gone she said I don't believe it they're just gone and so that's that's how simple and not very time consuming things can be so um, that's just a little sample there's lots and lots that I, I have that I can offer to help support people and and their evolution yeah that's wonderful and so where do they go again give us the email and also give us the uh, website again okay so it's Darlene so D-A-R-L-E-N-E -E, TLC healing hands at gmail.com or TLC healing hands.com for my website. Wonderful. Yeah. Um, boy, it's just amazing how time flies because I wanted to talk about, uh, I called you the horse whisperer <laughs> because, uh, you know, the, the, the healing work that you do with the animals and the communication that you do with animals but maybe there's going to be another time darlene when i can have you come back when i can mm -hmm. have you come back and we can talk about we can talk about other things as well um like your, definitely like your work with your with the animals right now we just have a few minutes left so what is it that you want to say uh to our audience today yeah well um the little piece because you talked about animals i wanted uh, people to also know that i do distance work on animals so if you are having an animal that's digestion body problems i can totally tap into the animal tell you this and that and do distance work on the animal um, but i think it's utmost important that we keep ourselves calm we keep ourselves neutral not on the roller coaster of the up oh, things are really really great things are really really bad you know like you know there, there's um sort of a calm neutral space to be yeah. at that yeah. yeah that doesn't tax our nervous system up and down and from this calmness our whole body can rejuvenate and heal at a lot better rate and uh, and cells can rejuvenate and it's a lot healthier for our digestion and a lot of things. So that's one of the main tools. And don't forget to breathe. Yeah, that's a good one. Breathing is good. We need that breath of life, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The expansion of the lungs, it really helps the shoulders and everything. So, you know, I, I know I am um, have shallow breathing a lot of times so i invite everybody as well to several times in a day how are you breathing or is it just like little breaths or you're just like are you breathing right yeah you know because the part a part of the breath has to do with um you know when we're shallow breathing there we're in fear uh that's really where it's at because we're, we're like the heart has started racing. We're in fear now. We're worried about something. And when you're shallow breathing, it's like right away a, a tool would be, where's my consciousness at? What am I worried about? What's going on? Yes. Yes, definitely. What's going on? And so that you can right away go, oh, you know, I'm worried about so-and-so or I'm worried about this or I have, you know, uh, whatever it is. But then, you know, take those deep breaths and right away breathe that, um, that love in and breathe out that doubt and mm -hmm. uh, really allow yourself to come back into that inner safe zone where all the magic happens, that inner, Definitely. that inner love, that inner juiciness and, and remind yourself that you are grounded, you are well, all is well, and that uh, you are safe, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's very important. And it's important um, to know too how to have proper boundaries with people and and to not um, always people please because that's another thing that um, a lot of times we give our energy away just oh, how are they feeling? Are they okay? Or you know, am I am I pushing them or you know, or whatever, right? You know, it's, it's really um, bringing that into our hearts is is this really the right place for me is this really the right connection with this person is this person serving my higher consciousness or are they taking my energy and redirecting and distracting me that's such a key piece right there you you said it that's a key piece you know um 
is, am I giving, you know, am I giving my energy away to a energy vampire? Are they distracting me? Am I giving my power away, taking it back mm -hmm. in? So Darlene, it was wonderful having you on the show today. Thank you so much for the good work that you're doing. And I look forward to having you on again. And uh, many blessings to you on your journey that you find the, the right magical place that the universe is going to put you next. And may I ask that it be close to me so we can hang out uh, and be friends. And, yay. Uh, yes, yeah. please. And uh, yes, please. And um, give my love to your husband and I will see you all soon. Namaste. Thank you, Cornelia. Thank you very much. Thanks, everybody. Love. See you. Ciao.